Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm just going to show you how I make my sorrel okay, drink. I've got a bag of dry sorrel and it is 100 grams. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use quite a lot of ginger, but I'm going to grate these. So then I'm going to measure them out and then tell you how much it is. One cinnamon stick. So what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our petals. So we've finished washing the petals or the sorrel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grate the ginger. So I'm going to wash the ginger and I'm going to grate it. And I've got here roughly about a cup of ginger, grated ginger. Then I've got two little, three little pieces that are left. I'm just going to crush this and then I'm going to have that to the boiling water as well the reason why i've grated the ginger is that it it gives it a better flavor it actually intensifies the flavor and it's the reason why i do that i'm still going to put add these to it as well but i'm just going to crush those and add them to the boiling water i have one cinnamon stick which i will be using too as you can see i crushed these so they're fine and as you can see that i've left the skin on it's okay don't worry too much about it as long as the ginger has been washed, you're good to go. To a pot, I've added eight cups of water. Now that it's boiling, I'm just going to add the ginger. And the cinnamon stick. And then I'm going to allow that to boil for at least eight to ten minutes. Oopsie. Now I'm just going to add the sorrel and you're just going to allow that to boil for two to three minutes. So it's now three minutes, I'm just going to turn off the cooker and just leave it to rest. This has been soaking for three days. Okay, so you can just soak it for the night, so for 12 hours, six, anything from six hours is fine. You can just leave it to sit for a night and that is fine as well. But I was too busy to actually finish it up the following day so I'm going to sweeten it now so basically what I'm going to do is strain it and add um, the other ingredients that it needs so we're going to go in with some rum and some red wine as well normally in Jamaica they would use let me show you So they would use this one here, which is Ray and Nephew White Rum. And um, here in the UK, I've got this one here. The other one sells, this one sells in the UK too. But um, this is the other one, Caribbean Pearl White Rum. So I'm going to be using this one now because this one is not as strong as the other one that i showed you and um i don't really drink alcohol because I'm t i tend to be allergic to it as well i haven't got the red label wine you can use red label wine i haven't even got a bottle to show you but however if you haven't got that my mom will be bringing me some at the weekend so that's fine but let me show you what you can use. So this is what you can use. This is mulled wine. I got this from Asda. And yeah, this is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using this and also this one here. 
if you don't mind using this one because this one is a bit stronger as as it says there it's a bit stronger whereas this one here is a little bit um weaker so we're gonna go good for this one here so yeah so but you can use this one it doesn't matter okay so now we're just gonna strain the sorrel and then we're gonna mix some of these in it don't want it to be as i don't want it to be too strong because it's going to be for myself and my mom so i'll stick to these ones okay so now that i finished straining it uh, what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to pad what needs to be headed so i'm just going to add the rum mind you if you're serving it to kids you do not need to add any alcohol in it so any rum any red label wine or red wine whatever it is that you're going to add to it if you're serving it to kids then you don't need to do that so we're going to add that's one tablespoon of white rum We're going to add another tablespoon of white rum and um, we're going to add three tablespoons but this is to your desired taste so if you do want to go ahead and add that amount then it's okay okay so now I'm going to add the mulled wine and as I said before we normally use red label wine if you haven't got that then just use any form of sweet red wine that you've got um at the moment mold wine is a little bit weaker than red label wine my dad used to use red label wine and i used to, I used to be in so much pain after so hence the reason why i tend to use less volume because i don't want it to be too strong for me okay so now i'm going to go in with the mold wine and for the mold wine i will be using probably about three quarter of a cup of mold wine if my mom does want more then she can add more to her so you can add more to your glass or whenever you're drinking it you can just add more to it at that time i do love mold wine mold wine by the way is supposed to drink warm so it's a drink that you drink warm so you put it um, I'm sorry I'm using more than what I said I'm going to be using it doesn't matter it's just based on you your preference you just use the amount that you would like to use so the rum and the wine is up to you okay so I'm just gonna mix that in I'm not going to taste it just yet now you can use whatever type of sweetener you've got as you guys all know if you have been following my channel that I do not use sugar so there's no way sugar is going to go inside here however if you do use sugar go ahead and use sugar and if you do use sugar you're probably going to need roughly about two cups of sugar to sweeten this however i'm going to go in and i'm going to use dates so i'm going to use dates i'm going to leave it to rest and then i'm going to have to strain mine once more because i'm using dates if you are using sugar then you don't need to strain it but because I'm using dates it's going to have residue at the bottom so I'm just going to strain it again after I allow it to sit for probably another day and you can sweeten to your desired taste so I'm using dates jam that I made this morning so yeah and I'm just sweetening to my desired taste. By the way, guys, I added um, one lemon to this as well. This bit is optional, you don't have to, but I decided that I want a little bit of lemon added to it, so I went ahead and did so. This you can store in your refrigerator um, or you can store it in your freezer. It doesn't, I've never seen it goes off 
anyway but normally you would have consumed it within the given time that you have made it so not quite sure the only thing i know is that if you want to store it for say months you just need to add rice um, uncooked rice to the bottom of the bottle that you're going to store it in a glass bottle and you just had probably about an inch of rice uncooked rice and you pour the drink inside there and that is perfect and it will last you for months yeah however these are going to be stored in the refrigerator and i'm going to store them in the freezer compartment as well yeah so hope you do enjoy this video thank you very much for watching if you do like this video please go ahead and give me a like if you've got a gluten intolerance wheat allergy celiac disease or you're simply gluten free by choice or you like my content please consider subscribing to my channel for more gluten-free recipes and other information about gluten. Once again, thank you very much for watching.